what is happening guys it is Thursday and we are at the hack and pack shop sorry I haven't had a video up for you guys in a while I haven't had a camera finally I found the old Sony camera the uh, Kodak's PlaySport a lot of you guys know got crushed <laughs> um, along with my uh, latest cell phone got run over yeah shit happens around here guys so today this is what I want to talk about. I really want you guys to get involved with this discussion. Let me shut off this heater. All right, rust. This is what this channel is about, is rust, okay? 2005 F-150 4x4 extended cab. Pretty clean truck other than being covered with salt um, coming here. All right, and I uploaded a picture of this to my Facebook. You guys that are not on my Facebook, it's Sean Piscotti, S-H-A-W-N. P-I-S-C-I-O-T-T-I -T -T -I on Facebook. Also, uh, the Hack and Pack Shop has a uh, Facebook page also. But unfortunately, I haven't been in that too much. I've been in my own personal one. All right, and a couple of you guys, or one of you guys mentioned on Facebook that you think that it might be due to poor maintenance. Okay, this is why these things rust out. Well, look at here. That's styrofoam, okay? Well, not styrofoam, it's like expand foam in there. See that? This stuff holds moisture in. This, this stuff is, is porous, okay? And it holds moisture. And this, in my opinion, is what causes a lot of the rot on these trucks. Dodge does the same thing. I don't know about GM on their newer, newer body style trucks. Um, in two, or 99 to 06, I don't believe they do this, but their wheel wells rust all the hell too. Okay, the Dodges, kind of the same setup as the Fords, they have this foam in there pretty much to keep the box side feeling stout, okay? It's all it's there for, you know, because the things are built so damn flimsy, they put the foam in there in between the layers of metal just to kind of keep everything sound sounding, <laughs> if that makes sense, all right? Now, I got a Subaru door over here. Find the light. This place is trashed. Which, what's new, right? I did a 09 or 10 Subaru uh, Forester not too long ago. Let's see if we can get some light up in here. And it's not that good. But if you look down in there, they actually treat the, the insides of their panels with a, it feels like wax. Okay? And a lot of the European, foreign, Asian cars do that. They actually treat the insides of the panels with wax. Okay, now you see their drain holes here? That's a pretty crappy drain hole if you ask me, okay? That one too. Pretty crappy, all right? I mean, it's kind of hard to keep those clean. But that's what you got to do with a lot of these cars. You got to keep all these drain holes clear, okay? I don't know if this thing's unlocked on the side. Yes, it is. All right, now on this Ford, let me grab the light. The Ford has some pretty good sized drain holes in it. And they look clean. Look in there. I mean, you can see shiny paint. Okay? But look at here. Look at the rust on this thing. Alright, now is this due to poor maintenance? Or is it due to a poor build? Now you look at that lip on that door. That is a huge gap. And that allows all the crap, salt, dirt, whatever, to get caught up in there causing them to rust out all right they don't they can't really get primer in every nook and cranny of these cars they can spray wax undercoating things like that to do get into a lot of these spots but a lot of these companies don't all right that's what sucks about these american cars you look at a 10 year old american car look at a 10 year old foreign car I, and I hate to admit this but the american cars are not holding up like these foreign cars are Years ago, it was the opposite. You know, you'd see a five-year-old Toyota just rusted to hell. But then again, years ago, you'd see a four or five-year-old Jeep rusted to hell. K5 Blazers, you guys remember those? 73 to, what, 86, something like that? Those things rusted out in two, three years. It's, it, it's a poor design. I mean, a lot of people, you know, if you're going to spend 35 grand and buy a truck like this new, most people do take care of them, okay? And this truck looks like it's been taken care of. Let's look in here. I mean, they got the nice floor mats in there, and this truck has not been detailed. This is how it was traded in. I mean, tell me this truck hasn't been taken care of. Okay? It has. 
What can you do to prevent it? There's where we get into a conversation. There's a lot of ways. You can undercoat them. You can get a wax coating on them on the insides of the panels, a spray wax. You can uh, just keep them clean. You can put motor oil up in all these nooks and crannies, spray it on with a sprayer. Okay, the mortar oil is kind of flammable, so you got to kind of watch where you get the oil. But I think the oil is one of the most effective things. It's thin. It puts on a good oil coating, keeps everything lubricated. And, uh, you know, every year, every two years, get underneath there, spray it up. It's not going to last as long as undercoating. But the thing with undercoating is, is, is you spray an undercoating under a two, three-year-old, four-year-old car that's already been exposed to the elements, the undercoating is actually trapping... The, cr the crap in there, all right? So if you get salt in, in the bottoms of those doors, just say, okay? And then you decide, hey, I'm gonna get my truck undercoat. I just bought it, three-year-old truck, bought it from a dealer, looks pretty clean. Well, you undercoat it, now you're trapping all that shit in there. All right, at least with the oil, it kind of soaks in around everything, and it, it, and it keeps, you know, it'll actually absorb into the dirt and, and kind of give you a fighting chance. The undercoating is gonna kind of cover the dirt, and uh, I, I think it, in it, eventually it's going to, you know, be more of an issue than, than, than a help. All right, now let's go outside, see what else we could look at. I just did the uh, corner panel on a 05 Exploder. All right, same thing here, this little Mazda truck. It's a Ford Ranger, pretty much. Wheel walls are rusted out. This is one of my vehicles. Tailgate, gone. All right, truck's got 90-something thousand miles on it. Look at this Trailblazer, 03. It's, this one of mine also, it's got 117,000. Look at the hood. Rusted. You know what I'm saying? GM's had this problem with these hoods since 02 when these things came out. The Colorado, same thing. Hoods are rotted out in five years. Why? Bad design. You can't blame the people for, for um, the manufacturer's poor design. What's this, 02? One, oh two, Dakota. Look, rust. All right, clean truck, one owner truck. Guy takes immaculate care of his stuff. Ninety something thousand on it, rotted. Here's O five Explorer. Pretty clean truck, except for it had a big ass rust hole right here, and I mean a big old hole. The rest of it. Clean, nice. But I tell you what, there's a hell of a hole there. Now, people taking care of their stuff, I mean, how are you possibly going to get way up inside of this wheel well to get that clean? You know what I mean? They got the freaking plastic here. I mean, you could barely get the wand up in there. I don't have a light. But I mean, come on, it's a shitty design, folks. I can't entirely blame it on the people that own these cars. You know, my uh, Crown Victoria. This one's a 03 P71 Interceptor. This is my latest one. I've seen these 09s, all right? Five years old. Five-year-old Crown Vix with a wheel lip gone off these fenders. Rotted, I mean gone. 09. This body style Crown Vic's been out since 1998. You mean to tell me they couldn't have straightened that out over the years? Okay. Now they did change something back here, these, these uh, rear wheel wells. All right, 03 and up. They actually, uh, it's a very thin lip here. All right, it's a pinched lip. It doesn't have what you can see here all the way around. You can see where it's kind of cut out, and they pinched it off real nice. These generally don't rot out so bad. Not as bad as the pre-03s, okay? I mean, a lot of these manufacturers do what they can do a little bit to make these vehicles last, but honestly, it's all about the money. I truly, honestly do not believe that it's the people not taking care of their cars. I mean, a lot of people take pride in their cars. My father buys a new truck every three, four years. All right, the last truck he just traded in, freaking rust all over the freaking frame. Um, I think he said something about one of the door bottoms. All right, so I think it was an 11, 2011, rusting already. They all do it. I mean, it's sad. Like I said, wheel wells on this, okay, and that was caused by these flares. The rest of this truck's pretty decent. Same thing as a Ranger. Bottom, the doors are good. Cab corners are good. Rockers are just starting to peel a little bit. All right. I want you guys' opinions on this. I really do. Do you think it's poor maintenance? 
for poor build quality. I've been doing this, guys. I'm 39 years old. I've been doing this since I was 13. So it's at 26 years. I've been working around cars and the bodywork industry. And honestly, it's, it's not getting any better. You know, the 70s cars rotted. You know, prior to 70s, well, I'd say early 60s on back didn't have the rust issues that the cars do today. Why? It's the quality of the steel, too. I mean, all these cars are made with reclaimed metal. Okay? Now, I don't know. Maybe some of you guys can tell me. I've heard the Canadian-built cars are rot out quicker than the American-built cars. I've never really paid attention, but I've heard more of the Canadian steel is more reclaimed steel, and it's not purified as well as it should be. Can you guys answer that for me? Because I, I couldn't tell you. You know, but I, I just I kind of want your opinions. You know, why do you think a car rusts out or a truck or SUV or whatever? What makes them rust? Do you think it's a, a build problem, the way they build them, the way they treat them? Because I do. Or do you think it's because the people buy them and neglect them? Could be a little of both, okay? I can agree with that, a little bit of both. But I've seen people buy cars and not wash them ever. And the things look better than the cars that were washed and waxed all the time. Strange, but it's true, okay? All right, well, a little bit of that all said. I'm going to get going. I'm going to get back on this rust. Hopefully we can get some videos rolling again now that I found my old Sony camera. I hate the thing. It takes forever to get uploads going, but you know what? We got to do it until I get a new camera. This is what we're going to be dealing with. I know the, the quality is a little bit better, but it's a lot more of a pain in the freaking arse for me. So y'all have a goody-goody. Hope you enjoyed.